cancer has just always been a fascination for me. I think everybody has somebody in their life who's been affected by cancer. On a personal level, it was always something that was very motivating. Switching to NGS is an important decision if you want to stay relevant in terms of technology. I'm a, an educator, secondly a researcher, and so my goal is really to try to help people get to that next level. Understanding that there's more than one gene associated with more than one drug is pretty common knowledge now. This ability to do more than one gene at a time to identify with a mutational burden in a specific tumor is, is increasingly more and more important. There are only a limited number of questions you can answer with standard technology, so next generation sequencing really gives you this ability to ask multiple questions. Can I sequence 100 tumor specimens or these 15 genes? You're really not going to be able to do that by Sanger sequencing. Sample input's always the biggest question, right? Do I have a sample that's appropriate to sequence? And that's why we need pathologists. Being able to sequence DNA from formal and fixed tissues now is, is pretty standardized and, and very robust. And so people still think that we have to use fresh frozen specimen, which really isn't necessary for the vast majority of questions. We actually like working with formal and fixed tissues now more than frozen because we know exactly what's going into the reactions. I'd like to see many smaller laboratories and smaller academic centers, private laboratories, doing this testing with next generation sequencing because the cost is significantly lower to do multiple gene panels. So if you're a smaller laboratory and your biggest question is, I can't afford to do this, uh, my, my question back to them is always, can you afford not to do it? And I think the reason why you really need to be thinking about doing this if you are a smaller laboratory is because the technology is now standardized for next generation sequencing. This ability to adopt these technologies now is well within the reach of, of most laboratory budgets. So with benchtop sequencers, there's now this ability to, to really bring on multiple assays that are built in standard operating procedures. The validations are well published and well documented. If you use the TrueSight tumor assay, there's already a built-in real-time PCR-based QC step. It was one of the reasons why we first adopted TrueSight tumor on the research side, just because we felt like that created a, a really solid standardization method. If you don't make that change, uh, you're really going to be left behind because the world has, has moved on. Hopefully people will understand that this is, is really essential because we're not going to be able to advance care unless more people come on, come on to these technologies and, and, and move forward.